So I went to go find the rest of the group and where I heard the voices, they were coming from up the hill, which I expected, but they were coming from back towards the culvert, which I did not expect. It seemed like they were backtracking. So maybe they didn't find the mine. So like, Or it could be nothing, or that was the power station that I just found. Well, Ashley found something as well, uh, near the pipe, which I think this pipe might be the same pipe, perhaps? Because there was like a bit of structure, I ripped some wood off of it, where I found those railroad spikes. Sadly, this was not the mine that they had found, which actually makes sense because Ashley had just found the tipple. And if the mine was in that direction, that just wouldn't make any sense. Now, at this point, we think the map is not to scale, but that doesn't mean it's not accurate in its placement of the different structures. That would make no sense at all. So, couldn't have been the mine. And I was thinking this as I was making my way up the hill. And as I was making my way up the hill, they were coming down the hill to consult the map, try to figure out where they were. Were they on a quadding trail or were they on an original road? Finding that pipe in the ground made us suspect it probably was an original road. And uh, maybe that was the power station that Joel had found up the hill. So we decided to go figure it out together. There's a pile of coal there. That powdery, more powdery coal must have been waste or who knows? I wish I knew more about coal. Yeah, maybe it was just the dust that was pulverized or something and then they just dumped it because they didn't need it because it wasn't good for much or maybe that's just extra from when they closed and it wasn't worth taking out or something. Who knows? Yes. It could have been in a house, yeah. Right back here, Josh. Well, you can see that the land is cut down. Like, yeah. And then there's a like, stove back here. There's a stove? Mm -hmm. Or something like that. What do you think it is? Oh, yeah. Yeah, that is a stove. Well, did it say anything about a where kitchen? We case, where we were in relation. Okay, so that probably is the bathroom then. Yeah. And then you said blacksmith was somewhere around here? Yeah, and then power station behind that. And power station over there? Okay. Yeah, there's like a man-made hole here too. So Joel definitely found something which was pretty exciting, but whether or not it was what we thought it was, was not very clear. So we thought it'd be best if we had a look around and search the wider area to see what else we could find. We decided not to split up this time because we wanted to be able to have the map handy to be able to compare whatever we did find with what we could see on the map. And since Ashley was the only one in our group who still had a map, that seemed like the best plan. Now, Ashley's parents also had a map, but they decided to stay down on the coal road and see what they could find heading back in the direction of the truck while we trudged around in, in the brush up the hill. That seemed like the best plan. Now, I had also filmed the map, which would have been helpful, but at this point that phone was now dead. So yeah, we didn't expect this adventure to take this long. So it's a good thing that I brought my old phone, even though it's broken, uh, which is why there's the occasional glitch and, and filming an uh, anomaly. Um, so th yeah, that wasn't going to, going to be an option. It was best to stay stay together when we were up there because I wouldn't have known what to look for on my own. Oh man, I wonder, I wonder if the museum would have had paper maps we could have used. Because we definitely didn't have any paper maps. That would have been super helpful if they were still open. And I bet you they could have given us way more information. They probably could have given us a better starting point too, because Google Maps was not, not that helpful. We used the satellite view and all we could see was trees, so I'm, I'm sure that wouldn't have helped us find the mine. But 
even the pins were not helpful. One was kind of random. The other one was for the Alexo camp. And at that point, when we were looking at the Google Maps, we didn't we didn't know that we had to start at the Alexo camp. Uh, we actually st ended up going down to the lower camp near the river where we found that memorial. I wonder though if we had known to start in the Alexo camp, if comparing the Google Maps, the satellite view to the uh, to the paper map would have been helpful. I don't know because because out there, it didn't know where we were. There was no like blue icon that showed us where we were in comparison to, to the pins or anything like that. Um, because once you're out of the town, there is no cell service. There's no texting, there's no calling, and there's definitely no internet data. In fact, the data in the town is not even that good. It's best if you can connect to Wi-Fi or something like that. So yeah, maybe that wouldn't have been helpful. It's a good thing that Ashley had taken a picture of the map because we would be lost without it. <laughs> we were lost with it. I wish there was an anvil here. You know how incredible that would be? No, that's not rhubarb. That's something else. Guys, what what is this? What leaf is that? Almost looks like a maple leaf, but that's definitely not a maple tree. Like wood kind of in the like, Yeah, like a place or something. Like it would have been boards. Yeah. Place across. There's metals and This isn't the dump though, right? The dump was over near the uh yeah, the near the cemetery yeah. there by the river, yeah. This was kind of exciting because there seemed to be a lot of debris and like artifacts and a lot of man-made holes everywhere some shallow some deeper and then we came across this this trench or ditch so we decided to see where that led to i don't know what that is it's got holes and it. it almost looks like a tractor seat but it's way too thin man you got you can you guys just hear the buzzing yeah. i hate it yeah of all the wasps it makes me terrified Hmm. Dang. It's gotta be somewhere. Obviously. What a stupid thing to say. It's gotta be somewhere. <laughs> yes, it had to be somewhere, but it was becoming increasingly obvious that we were not looking in that somewhere. Every time we found an artifact, we would compare it to what we know and what we could see on the map. For example, when we found a stove, we would look at the map, it could come from a house, but we know that Ashley's Jaddick didn't live in a house, he lived in the bunkhouse. And if there's a bunkhouse, there's probably a communal kitchen or a staff kitchen used to feed all the workers. Could this stove belong there? And then with that thought, we look at the map and then reassess. And that just happened over and over and over again. Shall we? Okay, well show me. Like really close. Okay. Like if that's the washroom, that's the blacksmith. I guess assuming we're correct. Yeah. Should we go the down shaft over is there? That way. Down, that's the washroom. Should we go down over there? Yeah, yeah. let's go. Hey, is it lower? Haley's thinking just right over here, which makes sense. Cause yeah, that makes sense. I mean, there's kind of a road here, but I'm sure this is more of a quad trail. There's some remnants of something. Yeah, we just saw it. I think that's just uh, a, a metal like, oh, it's another stove actually. I see here's where the burners would have been on, like that plate around here. That's the part that goes around. There's a can of beans someone was cooking right there. Um, okay. That's basically rotted into nothing. Cool though. Yeah, exactly. It would be into the mountain. 
See, but there was a cave in, right? Which is the whole reason why we know about this. So maybe they went up high. I don't know. Here's another few cans. Can there. Another can there. Yeah, kind of, but the berm comes all the way down to here. This is like maybe uh, was a diversion for water because it comes all the way down here. I assume that this was used for water diversion based off of some of the stuff that we had learned in the past about some of the other mines that Ashley Jaddock had worked on. Yeah, keep coming. They would pump any water out of the mine shaft and divert it away from the work area using a ditch like this where it would spill into a natural waterway. I thought maybe this was used for the same application as there is a creek and a river nearby. Although this could have been caused when they decommissioned the mine. It's hard to know, especially since there's 70 plus years of natural growth in and around it. I, the other part of this is that I would assume that if in the mine shaft, people would have checked it out. People know it's here. Yeah. So yeah, here's another hole. Of it, right? The picture that I thought was the spring. The spring? Well, they did say it was collapsed too. Yeah, collapsed. Okay, so here's the trail again. Yeah. You found something? Oh, that's cool. That's uh, part of an anvil. Yeah. Or something. Uh, yeah, yoink. That's freaking sick. Like this? Maybe this is not part of an anvil, but whatever it is. Is it the Minecraft entrance? Yeah, because there's a wood piece. Well, this might be just be off of a cart, actually. That's dope, hey? This would make sense. They're not going to let a mine shot to entrance stay. Like, they probably would have blown it up. Yeah, when there's still people around, they would have blown it up. Well, they did say it was collapsed. Yeah, maybe this is it. There's a lot of coal. Log, log. Coal. Now, I haven't walked further this way, though. Okay, maybe we should. Yeah, were you coming back this way? Because I want to take this. That's just too cool. What do you guys think that piece of metal is? I don't think it is part of an anvil because it's it's a bolt-on and most anvils do not have bolt-on accessories, although sometimes they do, depending on what kind of anvil it is. But this looks like it would be like the horn part of it and it's just the way that it's shaped doesn't make any sense because they're usually more horn shaped more conical they come to a point whereas this one doesn't although i have seen it where, where they don't but it just has holes where it seems like it would have some other sort of application maybe for a vice maybe off of a cart of some sort maybe uh, it's a piece of track hardware i'm not sure let me know what you guys think in the comments below this was your jaddock's first first job here right no he works no, he on a potato farm ah this is his second job or some kind of farm. I think it was like a program. Yeah. Is what it was a a you gotta, he to oh, for his year. visa or for his citizenship or something? No. He had to work a year in a, on a farm and then after that he could go over. There's something that there. Did he get any credit for being in the army? Well, that's the reason why he was given the opportunity to immigrate. Oh, okay. Yeah. Because he was in the Polish army. Well, I think they, yeah. Which was the very first time Poland had an army, right? Yeah, there's a couple metal things, yeah. So right over there. And Did right you guys over there. get a good look at that slope? Yeah. Yeah, I think actually this is where Ashley... Mm -hmm. Yeah, this is exactly where it is. This is where Ashley saw that thing. So this makes sense that this is here. Okay. So that could be the shaft there. Yeah. Which makes sense because like look at that impression, right? It's just like, it's it's a hole. Josh, you know the first Polish army, that, that would be a, actually, Poland's really old. 
They had many. But they didn't have a military during that like dictatorship, right? Well, because from what I, I've been told or remember, I'm saying is that Russia and Germany split them in half. Yeah. And then got to get shipped off to Siberia. Right. Oh yeah, that's a rail. That's a rail. That is a rail. It's a rail. <laughs> so the train went this way. Went up here. Went no, up it went that way. That way? What does your photo say that? Okay, before we move on, two things. Number one, I don't know much about Polish history. I know that they formed a militia type army during World War II that got to be a pretty organized and effective army that is no longer around now. It was disbanded because they switched from like a republic of some sort. Uh, they were taken over by Russia and Germany or something like that. Then after the war, they became communists or, or something. I just know that Ashley's family left Poland because of the tyrannical government. And uh, now they have a different army. It's different than the army that Ashley Jadik served in. And that's about all I know. We didn't discuss it much further because we found that random railroad on the path. So from here, number two, I start looking at the map a little more and I start to understand where we are in relation to the map based on the landmarks that we are starting to find. And things become a little more clear to me. Could we be... Okay, we're definitely not here. We would have to be, if we're walking towards Shaft, the shaft, we would have to be over here still. But those are those buildings. But well, what if we assume that we're on this rail line? I think we're here. Somewhere. That, that tipple? Mm -hmm. could, uh, I have no idea. See, it's just, this, this map is not to scale. Yeah. There's no way it can be. Because yeah. how far away was the, the freaking, uh, Cemetery, and then how far away was the sh was the? That's that way. Wow, that's overgrown, hey? Well, then that means if that's if that's a rail there, that means it could easily be over here. This that means the shaft could be over here, yeah, right? I don't know. I think it would be up more though. No. No, it would be further down. Oh man, and just like that, I'm confused again. Where the heck are we? Based off of the landmarks that we just found and looking at the map, we should be right near the mine. However, when we look up the hill, it doesn't look like there's anything up there. And then when we look down the hill, it doesn't make any sense that the mine shaft would be there because it would then be underneath the tracks that we just found. And that's just dangerous. Now we know about this mine because there was a collapse. However, building tracks over top of a mine is just foolish. So I don't think they would do that. So it can't be there, but we can see almost over the hill. It doesn't look like there's anything up there. And the tipple is back towards the truck. So where the heck are we? This doesn't make any sense. But we haven't been here yet, so we may as well check. So Joel goes up the hill and I go down the hill. There's there's paths everywhere. We don't know which ones are original and which ones are more recently made. But any one of them can lead to what we're looking for. I'm gonna go down here. What do you say? Something interesting here. What is it? Something interesting. Hmm. Interesting. Maybe the mine shaft is up there after all. I suppose this could have been something. Well, obviously I mean, it was something. Mine shaft, right? That's true. Definitely true. And also, you can start at the top and then dig, you know, down yeah. at a slope, which is probably what they did. Because when he worked at the the Coleman mines, they went, they did that. They they didn't, they weren't under the mountain. That's true. 
they're kind of near the top right and then they went down like in like grids or whatever that's totally what this could be so this could totally be it but what would they have used for reinforcement would they have used like is this a fallen tree or is this a processed timber which i mean i guess they would have just used a tree cut it down and then did what they could with it all right and then there's like a random pile of rocks there so this could be it doesn't look like much yeah see look there's those timbers there yeah so they could just be fallen trees but that one i don't know i just this is this is something though Like this is man-made, most likely anyway. Once again, I doubt they would have left them open. Yeah, well it's closed, right? They would have blown all the entrances up, yeah. Yeah, especially since there's people, because they, they, the town was still open for four years. And if they were unstable, right? If they closed them because they were killing people, then uh, they, they're not gonna be like, yo, let's just let the town fend for themselves. Doesn't make any sense. So I'm gonna say this is one of them. Whether or not it's the one that you're. There might. Yeah. Then that could be it. Cause like, look, it's off the railroad track like quite a bit. Mm -hmm. So maybe that is it. Cause there's still a road here. Right? They said it was collapsed, and they said that it's hard to see. Look how right? Well, yeah. It's a helicopter. that that was it because I just really wanted to find it but it was pretty underwhelming especially for Joel so we actually did some more exploration around the area and Ashley was brought out the map again and this time I really had a look at the map instead of looking at it upside down or from the side or through my phone through my phone screen filming I actually had a look at it and this is where I finally realized oh yeah there's at least two rails here one for a train that goes across the two trestle bridges and a separate one for coal carts that's the rail line track no okay on the map so that's the railroad there the rail is the and then on. and then the other track okay so what we found the remnants there that's for just carts the other one that goes to the train track to the bridge that we were just on that's the train so this here that rail right there probably turns somewhere in here because like it doesn't like it's pretty overgrown but it's been how long has it been 71 years. 71 years so yeah then it probably turns and goes over there that makes sense like if this is the curve and that's the actual entrance that makes sense mm. right but then they, it should be up there no that's the curve. Well, generally, well, this is hand drawn and probably not completely accurate. I don't think it's very accurate at all, because because of the distance we had to get to the to the cemetery versus the distance it took to get to the to to the yeah the culvert and the spring. Yeah. Can you do that thing where you just listen where it goes. Yeah, just tap on it with a rock. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> imagine you did hear a train though or imagine right as you put your right as you put your ear to it that helicopter started coming you'd be like dude <laughs> that's cool though yeah it's just sitting right there where would the other one be like here or is it on the other side it could be under this they may have taken it for scrap too at the time right and then for whatever reason they just left this one like who knows what happened right because what happened with the town they told them to burn it down right 
Did they? No. Or Does bulldoze they it. They this way? bulldoze it because it was a fire hazard. Oh, right, 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 right. Or bulldoze it so that they, it wouldn't burn down. So they could have just been like, well, while we're here, let's scrap all this oh, steel. Because that's a lot of yeah. uh, recycled material they could use. But that was after the war, so they wouldn't have needed it for that. But still, there's a lot of industry going on, so going. who knows? Okay. Yeah, it does keep going, right? That's just the edge, right? And then that'll sit on top of one of those plates that we found, yeah. and then on top of the, like, the wooden ties. That's dope. Okay, I'm going to say that this probably turns somewhere in here, goes up to where we just were, and that's probably the entrance to the shaft. Because there's still a trail here for like tourists and stuff to go find it. You don't like that? I don't like that. No? Give me out. Let's pull up this map. <laughs> I hear what you're saying, but if we examine, maps always point north, we know that's north. This rail line turns to the right. Not oh, to the not left. to the left. That's what I was trying to Is say. Is there anything on the other side? Oh. What about this one? Would this be the, this part? That's the rock dump! And then it goes down this way, because it meets to this. Oh, you're so, right, so Haley. It, it would be here. That's where we are. And the culvert is probably just over there where we were yes, walking. Yes, that makes sense. Good work. That makes more sense. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the rock dump. Okay. Where are all the rocks? Because there was rocks. Remember there was that pile of rocks? Yeah, but... I but, so like they... There would be way more. But then there was like... Well, I mean, there's so much earth. Right. On top of it, See? but also the there's a hole there, so, so there probably was a bigger but, hole at the time. But but all those like rocks, all that loose shit that the quads were playing on, uh huh, was right on top of the culvert, and that would explain all those piles of shit. Mm. Oh yes, mm -hmm. <laughs> mind blown. I completely agree with Haley and immediately abandon my opinion that that's the mine shaft. It's not. It's totally the rock dump. Now there's a few stones there and there's probably thousands more buried, but just beyond the hill in a northeastern direction, there's the culvert and those heaping piles of discarded coal. That is probably the main part of the dump. And it makes sense now that the culvert is there diverting the water. It probably diverts it so that the coal carts can run over there dump their coal down a ravine area and then run back without running into water issues. Makes complete and total sense. Now we're all on the right track. There's another pun. Uh, earlier I had said that if I had told everyone about the small hardware, we probably would be further along. Well, now, hours later, we're at that point. And it's just going to get confirmed as we move further on back down towards the tipple. So I actually hypothesize that that could be something, it could not be something that maybe got forgotten about in in, in translation. And we could just be literally in on a straight we, section of we this could. Yeah. of this track. Or even the tipple true. could be, we could be anywhere here. The tipple could be anywhere between us and there. Maybe the tipple is the thing that Ashley found. Yeah. What did you find? She found like uh, like a whole bunch of timbers. There was cable wrapped around it and everything. Mm -hmm. I didn't get well, very much of it on camera. That is. But and then, so then that means that the, we would be going past where Ashley found that thing, and then the shaft entrance is somewhere beyond that where we just we, yeah, we just well, can't it's find be it. Obviously, longer than this map because it's not. Just well, safe. I really feel that they thoroughly destroyed it. Yeah, they, they? they probably did. Yeah, Let me they probably did. Either way. Uh, I really want to find it. Uh, we probably can't find it. Because actually no one online has said they found it either, right? No, so. I haven't been able to find much about it. Yeah, okay. That's probably just what it's going to be. Can't find it. So I personally had done zero research. And at this point I couldn't do any because we are in the middle of nowhere. And there is no data service at all. So... All the information I had was secondhand. It came from the paperwork, which I didn't read. It came from the pie ladies, who I didn't talk to. And it came from the general conversation amongst our group, uh, which I was barely a part of because I was mostly just trying to film everything. So mostly, I was just crossing my fingers, hoping that we would run into some luck. 
Apparently this mine shaft is lost. It's just been buried for too many years and nobody knows where it is. But I was really hoping that we'd find it. Maybe Ashley's parents were having better luck because they have already been over there for a long time while we were messing around finding nothing. <laughs> However, we were heading on over there and on our way, we came across something else that we hadn't yet seen. Okay, so... On to the train. Found another rail here, Joel did. I came up uh, just over there, and the tipple on the map is really long, right? Yeah. It's pretty long. The tipple be this, because that, that rail there. Yeah, it is pretty long. The tipple is long. So the tipple tips into the rail cars? That's what I do. Yeah. Yeah, they conserve side to side. Yeah, and it's long. So this here, and then that just over there. That makes sense. Kind of. I think. Why would that just be sticking out there? Well, it's but mangled. Before, it doesn't, it doesn't make sense, like, parallel wise. Isn't it facing the wrong direction? No, because it's isn't it so this way? Well, isn't it could, it it could have been mangled, way? like he's saying. Oh. It could have. They could have ripped it all apart, right. excavated from down there, just... Yeah. Oh, there's something else. Oh, yeah. What is this? Oh, it's a pipe. It's hollow. There's something metal right there. Yeah. So it could be that the people rests on this slope. We dump it into the train car. Yeah. So then yeah, see that timber right up. there sticking out of the ground? Mm -hmm. That's something. Well, this is that tipple, which means that shaft is that way. Once again, back there. Yeah. <laughs> Found a cable? Oh, yeah, I see it. Popping out of the ground there. Interesting. There's that pipe again. Yeah, so this is where I think the tipple part that I think it is came all the way over to here. Right? That's short walking distance, it makes sense. Now from the tipple, it was just a short walk back to the truck. So it kind of seemed like we must have missed it again. Found this here. I wonder if this was made by the blacksmith. But uh, as we were exploring in there, Betty, Ashley's mom, said it's right here in front of us. So I guess maybe they did have better luck than us? So I got out, I start walking, Dad follows me. All the timber. Guys, I even walked back here a bit. But it's totally... It's cement. It gets all ma marshy. It's just getting marshy. Oh! And, then the, and there's a whole bunch the of trees in front of Oh, yeah. There's a lot of wasps. We went up there and there's a lot of wasps in there. And, and what is this? See up there? Yeah, I do see it up there. Yeah. Oh yeah, I see them all in there. I'm gonna try. Maybe I'll put on my hoodie first. Okay, go high and go around. I'm still gonna put on my hoodie though, cause just in case. Okay. Kind of frustrating that we couldn't see it right in front of us, but I'm glad that we couldn't because we found a lot of other things that are interesting. We could or could not be wrong or right. That didn't make sense. We could, we may or may not be right about what we deduced by looking at the map, which we believe is inaccurate, but maybe it's completely accurate and uh, we're not right because it is accurate or we are right and it's not, there's so many different combinations, but Joel and I are going to go high, 
to avoid the swampy wasps and hopefully uh, this will put a uh, happy ending to this adventure. There's quite a bit of wasps in here too. Okay, there's already a bit of a trail here. So people have been coming up this way. Probably because of the swampiness, I imagine. There we go. Okay. Oh, is that it? Please be it! I was so hoping that this would be it. I think that might just be a, a wall of nothing. What do you think? I don't know, I just see, well. There's a drop right here for sure. There's a hole here. Yeah, it could be it. Did he just walk it off? Is that concrete? Or is that just... I don't know. Hard to, hard to say. It kind of just looks like rocks to me. See? You okay? Yeah. Oh, what kind of shit is this? What? Is that bears? Oh, I don't know. It's old. It's crumbly. Found some possibly bear crap. Oh, it looks like it's better. It's rock. That's concrete, isn't it, Dad? That's rock. That's rock. That's not the shaft, dude. Rock. Nothing. It's nothing. It's just the side of the mountain. Well, no, let's think less pessimistically. You can see all the timbers down here. Let's think less pessimistically, Josh. What's down in this, like this side, yeah. In this hole right here? That could be, that could be it, because it's a random hole that's flat to the hill. Yeah, but even like, you can know this vegetated part wasn't it. Well, oh, like right here? Yeah. This could be it. It is a cut. Yeah, that's true. That could be it. It is possible. And it does make sense it with the map. It's bigger than uh, those other things we found. Yeah. You know what? You're right. My phone will not stop zooming and unzooming. See, there's that. And then there's this here. See, this could possibly be it. Right, because like, look at this. There's the bottom. It probably doesn't translate well on camera. And then there's the top right there. That's pretty big. That's like, what, 13 feet? That's more than big enough for an entrance. Right? Then there's that. I don't know. Do they need a separate thing to get rid of the water that they encounter, maybe? I have no freaking clue. Okay, now that we're back down at the bottom... So these two houses here may have been where we saw the stove stuff. 17 and, and 18. Uh, residents of the Phillips and number 18 is residents of is the Riley. Okay. And then, so if we come from those, so this is where I think I found like the, the uh, stoves. And then coming over here where we think we are now, this area, that means that the blacksmith... And the power station would be over here. We thought, because there was like a hole. It could have been a cellar. It could have been anything. We thought maybe it was an outhouse place, so bathrooms and stuff. Because uh, like, right here it says washrooms. But this is closer to the road. And yeah, if this, yeah. if they would have made kept the road the same, then that would be in this area somewhere. Yeah. yeah. And the entrance, number one, says that it's the mine entrance. And it's marked right straight ahead of us, Josh. Mm -hmm. I feel like, though, like... 
Well, I don't know. I guess so, right? That makes sense. Who the freak knows? It could be. And, like, they probably would have exploded the mine. And if they didn't, after 70 years, it would cave in. I think they they close it up and cave it in. Or On purpose. Yeah, 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 yeah. But even if they didn't, by now, it probably already would be caved in. Because yeah. they don't maintain it. Yeah. Huh. We'll go with that. <laughs> what do you guys think? I think it's... I, I it. Yeah? So the blacksmith is somewhere here, so we should look for an anvil in there. If we found a... Right? There's metal in there? There's a big chunk of metal there. Okay. Well, it's this thing cut into the land, right? So mm -hmm. They probably wanted to make like a work area. Right. And do you think... Like this is... I'm thinking... Okay, so if that is it, it probably wouldn't be opened even if they didn't explode it after 70 years. It would have caved in on its own, right? Probably. And then those, all those other holes that we found, those are all caved in too. Those were probably something at some point. So, plus all the trees and stuff that are growing. Yeah, for sure. I kind of want to look over here if there's any. I'm probably... Where was that piece of metal there, Joe? Just straight ahead? Ah. I see. Okay, some I-beam. That's really cool. And then... Whatever that is. Maybe this is where the blacksmith worked, right here. There's another few chunks of metal. Oh, what's this? It's a rock. Piece of metal here. And a piece of metal here. And I don't see anything else. Yeah. There was there was buildings here. Yeah. <laughs> what is this? This is a piece of steel. As I look around in there for more clues and confirmation, ultimately I have no idea if that is in fact the mine shaft. What are you doing here, Penny? You're not supposed to be in here. You're lucky I'm done. It seems to make the most sense that it is where the mine shaft is. I think we finally are where we think we are when we're looking at the map. There's a random red X marking the spot, although we don't actually know where it came from and we found a couple other ones. Logically, if we look at it, it seems, yes, this is the mine shaft. But since we didn't find an actual hole in the ground, we can't know. What do you guys think? Is this it? Bit of an animal trail here. Some more metal over there. concrete here so could be some sort of foundation of some sort who knows if it was for industry or for housing or what got these pieces of corrugated steel there's a pipe here interesting interesting there's a timber here that's Definitely something. That's cool. Ashley's asking if I'm ready, so I guess I guess it's time to go. Yeah, I'm coming.
Hey Josh, you can put in your blog that we went 16,374 steps today, which um, make, uh, distance wise is 10.6 kilometers. Um, plus all the driving that we did around. <laughs> Back and forth. <laughs> nice. <laughs>